now to the final of the 3,000 meters. Genzebe de Barber, the world record holder, the defending champion, the world outdoor champion. Betsy Seiner coming out there from Kenya, multiple US collegiate champion indoors and out. Great athlete. Shannon Rovery coming out, taking center stage. Got a bronze in the 1500 back in 2009. Maureen Costa, European indoor bronze medalist last year. Svetlana Kuzlich of Belarus, European indoor silver medalist last year. Josephine Moultrie of Great Britain, second in the UK champs. Bethlehem Desolene, Ethiopian transferee to the United Arab Emirates, sixth in this race two years ago. Nancy Chepramoy, world junior bronze medalist a few years ago, really quick over 15. Jessica O'Connell, just missed a medal in the Pan American Games last year over the 5,000. Abby D'Agostino, seven times US collegiate champion. Sheila Reed won the Boston Mile, former NCAA champion, another classy Canadian. Messeret de Far, the greatest 5,000 meter runner the world's ever seen and a four-time world indoor champion, still coming back to her best having had a baby. Steph Twell, world junior champion over 1,500 a few years ago, an awful injury in cross country. She's done well to get back to any kind of international form. And what a star against Eve de Barber. The world record holder at 1,500 metres indoors and out. The one mile record holder, the 3,000 metre world record holder and the 5,000 metre record holder indoors. She is by eight seconds the quickest athlete in this field and she just happens to be the world record holder as well. She is the overwhelming favourite to add yet another global crown to her collection. Needed that world outdoor title over 1500 last year. People were starting to say she was a record breaker rather than a major championship performer. Renata Pliss doesn't start, that's a shame for the double Polish champion. Shannon Robery fancies she can get in amongst the mix here. Bethlehem Desalen, as I was saying, a transferee from Ethiopia. A Messeret de Far and Gensebe de Barber will hope to put on an absolute masterclass of distance running here, proudly flying the flag for the Ethiopian nation. Well, there is Genzebe de Barber. You almost run out of superlatives when you're talking about her. She is absolutely electric and finally has the outdoor title to go along with all those world records. The defending champion, can she do it again? Next to her is Steph Twell, and there's Messeret de Far. Six world indoor medals over this distance. A bronze going way back when to Birmingham 2003. Only missed Sopot because she was away having a baby. One race on the track since giving birth. And that was a big win with 8.30. Bethlehem <laughs> Desalen, Moultrie of Great Britain, Costa and Shannon Robery. Eighth in this race two years ago. Really good 1500 meter runner. Finished in the top eight in the World Championships last year. And just to her left hand side is Betsy Sainer, multiple US collegiate champion, cross country, indoors, out on the track. Real all rounder. So, no disrespect to the other 12 women lining up in this race, but this is a question of how fast and by how much. Or will Messeret de Far? the multiple world indoor champion, continue her road back to greatness after maternity leave. Zebe de Barba, great running genes in the family. Her sister Tiranesh, arguably the greatest 10,000 metre runner the world has ever seen. She's had some real battles, her sister, with Messeret de Far, and now she's picking up this rivalry on behalf of her sister. On An your amazing marks. dynasty of distance runners within the family and across the country. So, Genzebe de Barba going for world indoor title number two, trying to defend this crown. Messeret de Far has done it four times. Gabriela Zabo has won it three times. And I think we've already had the answer to our first question. I had 
half thought in the back of my mind that it would be such a demonstration of excellence that Dimbaba might go for a world record. But Peter Matthews alongside me in the box, Kenzemi Dimbaba is right at the back, and by her mercurial standards, she's almost walking. It was a big field here, 14 athletes, they all lined up together, and on pretty much towards the outside were the two Ethiopians, and both of them stepped back, really, from the rest and settled in originally in the last two places. They're quite happy to make sure nothing happens to uh, put them off their stride. They can pick their way through the field later, and rather like the men's 3,000 metres, we're going to see an accelerating tempo. We certainly will. Steph Twell of Great Britain decided she wants to stay out of trouble but this is absolutely pedestrian that's why everyone looks as though they're running so easily i noticed kudzelic of belarus got a big shove in the back down the home straight for the first time and she immediately accelerated and went onto the shoulder of steph 12 realizing that there's always a danger when it's so slow and so bunched that you could fall over and the belarusian has decided to take it on 80 seconds for the first 400 metres. Catherine Mary's almost thinking about putting on her spikes and adding a little distance to the 400 she excelled at so brilliantly. I think she'd be pretty comfortable at 80 seconds over 400. It won't stay in this pace for long. And Kudzelic of Belarus has just decided to at least make it look respectable, but this is cruise control for Messeret de Far, the four-time world indoor champion, and for Kenzemi de Barba, who is second from the back, quite happy to run alongside Jessica O'Connell of Canada. Those two bringing up the rear on the right of your picture. Betsy Sana is, uh, just tucked in behind Steph Twell in third place. Well versed at competing here in the US. Really good athlete. But a long way to go. And as Peter was saying, we are going to see some serious acceleration here. Great performances from the Americans so far over the middle and long distance. A silver for Ryan Hill in the men's 3000 and a silver for RG Wilson in the women's 800 meters. Robbery of the United States will fancy that she can get in the mix here. After all, she is a global medalist outdoors over 1,500 metres. But the longer this race goes on, the more it plays into the hands of those with a devastating turn of pace come the closing stages. And I guess the question at this stage is how long will Genzebe de Barba be quite happy to sit in at the back of this field? And talking about De Barber, Peter, it's easy to throw numbers around and, and, and sometimes us statisticians, 315 at 1,000 metres, this is really, really steady, and, and, and that's putting it mildly. It's easy to bandy numbers around. She ran 350 for the 1,500 metres last year. That is an extraordinary time. Extraordinary, because it took away the world record which was set by Chinese in their miraculous year of 1993. But at last, we've got some injection of pace, and seeing that immediate reaction from the Ethiopian. Genzebe de Barber floated from the back to the front of the field. She's gone past Steph 12 with nine laps to go, and now she's decided she's in the mood to give everybody a real demonstration of why she is the world's number one 1500 metre runner and distance runner on and the tracks at the moment. And what a beautiful runner she is, isn't it? Look at that smooth, flowing style of action. Fascinating to see what this 200 metre split is. She's really broken apart the field, and crucially, she's got a long way ahead of the far, who's currently in third place, 12 between them in second. Well, let's just take a check on that. Um, on 4.23 there, so she suddenly opened it up with a 32-second uh, lap, and we had an 80-second 400 to start with, 40-second laps. And that's why the field has been split so against Ebe de Barba, the defending world indoor champion. She just looked up at the big screen to see what was going on. Steph Twell's doing her best for Great Britain. She's in second place, but the gap is growing. Messeret de Far is in third, and the former Ethiopian, Bethlehem Desalen, who now represents the United Arab Emirates, she is in fourth place with Sena of Kenya in fifth. Good run from Robbery. She's in sixth, just trying to hang on at the moment. But it's been a... A real injection of pace there from Dibaba, and it's had an immediate impact on everybody. And that pace is 64 seconds for the 400 metres since she took the lead with nine laps to go. And uh, it's interesting that uh, Tafar 
does seem to contend just to let her get away because our only hope now is if Dibaba really blows up. And at this pace, it's not any, any exceptional, but she's broken it up. Maybe they're gaining a little bit on her, but she's still running very smoothly. I think the point we ought to make about Messeret Defar is that she's still in the process of, of coming back to regular racing after having a baby. She had a great win earlier this year in Boston. She ran 8.30 which is, yes, eight seconds slower than Getsemi de Barber's done this year, but that was her first track race since 2013. So I think the multiple world indoor champion over 3,000 metres is still coming back towards her top form, and perhaps with both of them fit, which they appear to be, I think it's unrealistic, I think, to expect her to challenge de Barber when she's clearly in world record setting mode this year, that brilliant one mile indoor record. So. Tafarma is the favourite of the two, but Tafar is doing well at the moment. She's dragging one or two athletes with her in what could well be the battle for silver and bronze. Going through the two kilometres there in 6.02.83, well, that's outside nine-minute pace, which is very slow. It'll be well inside that. After a 3.15 first kilometre, we had a 2.47 second kilometre. So we know that Gensebe Tafarma is way off the front. Tafar is in second place. Let's just round up who's there. Bethlehem Desalen for the United Arab Emirates. She's running in third place at the moment, just ahead of Shannon Robry. Good run from Great Britain's Steph Twell, who has now been passed by Maureen Costa, the talented athlete from the Netherlands, who's moved through into fifth place. Twell just beginning to go backwards. This gap is not growing significantly, but little by little, Getzebe de Barber is beginning to pull away from the rest. So it's Ethiopia 1 and 2, the United Arab Emirates 3, America 4, Netherlands 5. 66.9 for the last 400 metres, so a little slower than that previous breakaway 64. And now Messeret de Far, as we look at Getzebe de Barber on the left of picture there, de Far just looked over her shoulder, and she, for the first time, has moved ahead of that group of three who were right behind her. So it's Ethiopia one and two, and there's going to be a battle royal for the bronze medal, I think. Kinsemi Dababa inside the last 400 metres, Messeret Dabar. This would be her seventh medal in the history of World Indoor Championships over 3,000 metres, but the crowd are beginning to respond because Shannon Robery of the United States, on the left of frame there, has moved ahead of the rest into third place, but Maureen Costa of the Netherlands is still hanging on to her in the moment. Genseve de Barber takes the bell in the final of the women's 3,000 metres. It's been an absolute demonstration of excellence from the world record holder and the defending world indoor champion. She is streaking down the back straight. Messeret de Far, her compatriot, is in second. And what a brilliant run by the American Shannon Robery. She's in third place at the moment, and that is why the crowd are getting so excited. Well, whatever Genseve de Barber goes on to achieve outdoors, she has proved herself the queen indoors. A second world indoor title over 3,000 metres. Messeret de Far gets another medal, and Robery, to the delight of the crowd, picks up the bronze just ahead of Maureen Costa. Well, that's the one, two, three. Gold and silver for the Ethiopians. Genseve de Barber made that look easy. A wonderful run, a beautiful run, class apart it seems from the rest. Americans delighted with Shannon Robry. Their other runner, D'Agostino, came in in fifth place. After Costa was fourth, 12 behind her sixth. But she's a beautiful runner. She's dominated the indoor scene at distance running for the last couple of years. And she's shown just what she can do here. Yeah, she didn't go for a record or anything like that, but wow. 8.47.43 in the end, that's the official time. And after a 3.15 first kilometre, then a 2.47, and finally a 2.44.6 final kilometre. She is absolutely brilliant. The only medal missing from her collection is the Olympic title. And surely she will attempt that at 1,500. Her coach has spoken about her having the potential to run 347 for the 1500 meters. And on the evidence and the ease of her excellence here today, you wouldn't bet against it. 
So a third medal in the middle and long distances for the Americans. Two silvers, Ryan Hill and RG Wilson, and a brilliant bronze for Shannon Robery. Kenzebe de Barber defends her title and in what style. Great silver medal for Messeret de Barber, still coming back from maternity leave, and Shannon Robery picks up a brilliant, brave bronze.